words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways for the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Into his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm this morning, Psalm 69, is found on page 679. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen up to my neck. I'm sinking in deep mire and there is no firm ground for my feet. I have come into deep waters, and the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary of my cry. My throat is inflamed. My eyes have failed from looking for my God. Those who hate me without cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never stole? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me. Lord God of hosts, let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O oh God of Israel. Surely for your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an island to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and became a by word among them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me, and drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you. At the time you have set, O Lord, in your great mercy, O God, answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire, do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrent of waters wash over me, neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind. For your great compassion, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me, because of my enemies who deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all on your side. Reproach has broken my heart, it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I could not find them. They gave me gold to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let the table before them be a trap, 
in their sacred feast of snare. May their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and give them continual trembling in their loins. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let the fierceness of your anger overtake them. Let their camp be desolate, and let there be none to dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom you have treated, and add to the pain of those whom you have pierced. They make their charge guilt upon guilt, and let them not receive your vindication. Let them be wiped out of the good of the living, and not be written among the righteous. As for me, I am afflicted and in pain. You will help, O oh God, who lift me up on high. I will praise the name of God in song. I will proclaim his greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than bullocks with horns and hoofs. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his prisoners that does not despise. For the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it in possession. The children of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Silas had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul went in, and as it was his custom, and on three Sabbath days, they argued with them from the scriptures, explaining and proving that it was necessary for the Messiah to suffer and to rise from the dead and saying, This is the Messiah, Jesus, whom I am proclaiming to you. Some of them were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, as did a great many of the devout Greeks, and not a few of the leading women. But the Jews became jealous, and with the help of some ruffians in the marketplaces, they formed a mob to, and set the city in an uproar. While they were searching for Paul and Silas to bring them out of the, as to the assembly, they attacked Jason's house. When they could not find them, they, grabbed, they dragged Jason and some believers before the city authorities, shouting, These people who have been turning the world upside down have come here also, and Jason has entertained them as guests. They are all acting contrary to the decrees of the emperor, saying that there is another kind, another king named Jesus. The people and the city officials were disturbed when they heard this, and after they had taken bail from Jason and the others, they let them go. That very night, the believers sent Paul and Silas off to Beroa, and when they arrived, they went to the Jewish synagogue. These Jews were more receptive than those in Thessalonica, for they welcomed the message very eagerly and examined the scriptures every day to see whether these things were so. Many of them therefore believed, including not a few Greek women and men of high standing, but when the Jews of Thessalonica learned that the word of God had been proclaimed by Paul in Beroa as well, they came there too, to stir up and incite the crowds. Then the believers immediately sent Paul away to the coast, but Silas and Timothy remained behind. Those who conducted Paul brought him as far as Athens, and after receiving instruction to have Silas and Timothy join him as soon as possible, they left him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 10, 
Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will reach in pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. After Jesus had spoken of his death to the crowd, he departed and hid from them, although he had performed so many signs in their presence. They did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word spoken by the prophet Isaiah, Lord, who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? And so they could not believe, because Isaiah also said, He had blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, so that they might not look with their eyes and understand with their heart unturned, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory and spoke about him. Nevertheless, many, even of the authorities, believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess it for fear that they would be put out of the synagogue, for they loved human glory more than the glory of that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pentacle 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lord of this land. For with your blood you have redeemed, O God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into the heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, that your people say with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. 
Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you called your faithful servant John Coleridge Patterson and his companions to be witnesses and martyrs in, in the islands of Melanesia, and by their labors and suffering, raised up the people for your own possession. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your church in every land, that by the service and sacrifice of many, your holy name may be glorified and your kingdom enlarged through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today we lift up the Diocese of Isialangwa in Nigeria in our Diocese and Prayer Cycle. Pray for St. Luke's in Jackson and Gideon's International. We pray for one holy Catholic and apostolic church in the world, which she could be one and protected by your Holy Spirit. We pray also for the Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Ralph, all the clergy and deacons of our diocese and the lay leadership. We pray for the organizations in our diocese. We pray that for these ministers to keep close to their hearts, their vows to you, we pray that you help them through to keep the main thing the main, to serve you. We pray against distraction, especially this election season. We pray more a heart to serve you in everything. We also lift up our own parish to you, St. Andrews, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Bring us to true repentance and deeper conversion. And make us more loving and faithful. We pray that you consecrate our prayer, work, and study to your glory. We pray that you continue to help us to care only for the glory that comes to from you, not the, the glory that comes from human praise. We pray, O oh Lord, that you grow us in holiness, and increase us in number, and bless us with the resources that we need to serve one another and the world in your name. We pray that you guard us each day from any harm to body, mind, or soul, and guide us in discerning your will so that we can become the church that you want us to be. We pray for our inreach and outreach and our partners. We pray for the organizations that we, we help. Bless them on their journeys. We pray for the poor and the destitute especially those who come to St. Andrews for help. We pray, O oh God, to visit them in secret. Allow them to sense you and your presence and allow them to, to feel the need to transform their lives and model it over to your life. We pray for those on our prayer list that, Lord, that your healing hand may be upon them. Those who are not feeling well, O oh, heaven, enormous problems that causes them anxiety and, and burnout. We pray against that. We pray you heal us, O oh Lord. We pray for solutions for those who are having a, such a hard time with those problems. We pray for those who are suffering the mental illnesses, Father, that you continue to heal them, assure them of your presence each day with our shackings, they are home and they wish they could be home and they are here at church but they can't. We pray for your healing presence to be with them. We pray for those who are mourning the loved ones, oh Lord. We pray, oh Lord, for Judy's family. Give her rest and peace, rise in glory. She may add in the sessions of thanksgivings at this time.
maybe for us to have more of our relationships with each other here in the Kana congregation. Bless us and bless us. Our relationships with each other. Pray and bless the plan of the enemy in Jesus' name. Guard us and guard our people, Lord. General Thanksgiving, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we who are worthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the means of grace and to the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that our truly thankful hearts may show forth your praise, not only in our lives, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to you and with you and Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.